Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. This is Oscar Bevis for IFL TV. I'm calling this the final word with Mr. Fabio Wardley. Um, you've stood in head-to-heads when you haven't been champion. You're standing in head-to-heads now when you are champion with the belts. Um, do things change? Um, nah, you take it all the same. A belt, don't get wrong, it's, it's nice, it's shiny, it's good to wave around and, and good to put in your Instagram bio and I'm champ of this and whatever else. But ultimately, when it comes down to it, then belts don't help me in the ring at all. I can't use them. They're not doing anything for me. So they're nice to have around, but it's still just two men getting in the ring having a fight. So all the, all the faith I have is all relying on me. How are your nerves now compared to the fights against Nathan Gorman, the fights with David Adelaide? I know a lot of fighters say there's no nerves at all. I'm not a fighter, but I kind of don't believe that sometimes. Um, how does it compare to fights of previous? Did you get more experience? Yeah, it seems they definitely dwindle. They definitely like... Um, they ease off. It's weird because the fights get bigger, the stakes get bigger and stuff, but you've done it like more and more and more. You settle into it. I think the, the thing with being nervous about stuff is, is the unknown, isn't it? You don't know what's going to happen. Now, when I've had, you've had a number of fights and you've been on big shows and bigger events and done all, the, done all of this kind of stuff already, you know what the outcome is. You know how things are going to go. Um, bad blood's the tagline. When I spoke to Fraser yesterday, he said it's not even bad blood, it's just bad intentions. Um, I don't know how many times you two have kind of been put in front of each other or been around each other, but I feel like any animosity's kind of died off a little bit between you two and you just know that it's just business now. Yeah, look, it's like, it's, it's part of it. There, there was definitely, when this first got made and first got put together, there was definitely some animosity, definitely things said and done, but um, that's the, we've had, I don't know how many face-offs, like you say now, so all this needed to be said has been said. There's no point just re, re-going over lines and things, so just get there to the fight now and, and deal with whatever's left over in the ring. You speak to anyone today, they say, if it goes early, it's Fabio. If it goes late or it goes to points, it's going to be Fraser. That kind of seems to be the narrative people want to play. Um, but can we get a narrative where you take this to points, you show your boxing ability? And is there a narrative where you've actually got to be wary of what Fraser brings early? Like, kind of mix this, thing, whole, this, this whole narrative up? Yeah, look, I've... I've got to be. I've always got to be cautious of what he brings to the fight, but I don't think if it goes late, it's his fight either. We've we've seen his gas tank drop out very quickly in fights. He's he's not like he's not a high volume puncher. He doesn't put a lot of work together. So I think early or through the distance is my fight. Um, I don't I don't see a point where the stage of the fight really matters on or gives him an edge. I think both of them give me an edge. I'm very sharp at the beginning, and I've always got a high work rate and high output in fights as well where he doesn't. So if I've got five pound in my pocket, what am I putting on the bet slip tomorrow? How does it go? I mean, you're going to tell me you win, but how does it go? Method, round, whatever? Cool. Um, look, I'll go mid-rounds, Fabio Wardley knockout. Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook.